Okay, first first things first, I gotta go personal right here. I have to start sleeping better, man. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's a terrible thing. I'm gonna miss all this fucking news, and then I'm, everything I'm gonna post is gonna be out of date. Okay, all right, I'm done with the personal thing. All right, Corn Sun and the Broncos, George Payton, yes sir, have agreed to a four-year, sixty point eight million dollar extension. So this is great. The guy is thirty-six. He'll be thirty by the end of his contract. And same with Tim Patrick, they gave him a three-year deal, and he'll be 31. So they'll be in their early 30s time when their contract expires. And these are not like fucking six-year deals or something like that. These are like four-year deals, you know. Uh, Corlin Sun, great receiver, so much potential, has the size, has the ability, can catch the ball, all that stuff. Unfortunately, this man has never had a great quarterback, you know. He's had fucking Case Keenum, uh, fucking Joe Flacco, Drew Locke, Jeff Driscoll. Yeah, no, oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I'll count that one game. Jeff Driscoll, um, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, all those scrubs, you know. You know, and he still produced at an elite level. This year he's going to have a 1,000 yards. Teddy Bridgewater has to target this guy. If we're gonna make a playoff push this year, we're five and five. We're still in the hunt. I, I I don't think we'll make the playoffs, but if we're still gonna make a push, we need to target this guy. This guy's our number one. Tim Patrick's not our number one. Jerry Doogie's definitely our number three. KJ Hamler's hurt, so there you go. <laughs> so um, and Ke uh, Kendall Hinton's not our number one. So this guy's our number one, and our quarterback. You know, decides to throw it to him in garbage time where it doesn't matter. You know, he has to throw it to Corlin Sun more. And this is not a complaining thing. Um, this is... This is a fucking... This is a moral thing. You better get more uh, throws to him because of his new contract. I don't know how much that is yearly. Uh, let me do the damn math. 60.80 million American. American, man. Come on, man. Uh, point eight, not eighty. I'm retarded. Uh, divided by four. That's fifteen point sixteen million. So yeah, around sixteen, fifteen million, a little bit more. He's making. I don't know if they're gonna backload it, front load it. I have no idea. Again, but you make around fifteen million. That's good. Uh, he deserves the money. Um. He just needs to get more fucking uh, receptions because, uh, you know, Bridgewater won't throw it to him. You know, I don't know why. He likes doing the little check downs. You know, if this was Drew Locke, um, Corlin Sutton would have more receptions. And uh, you can't lie. I don't care if uh, Drew Locke's the wor worst than him or better than him. Drew Locke would throw the ball more to uh, Corlin Sutton like he did in 20. Uh, or like he did in 2019-20 in later in the year. Corlin Sutton had, like, a lot of receptions late in the year, so, yeah. Um, and uh, if we get a real quarterback, he's going to be used to his potential. You know, if we get one in the draft, uh, free agency, get a bridge quarterback too, I don't know. Um, George Payton's doing a way better job than John Elway, um, per Colby Alberson and per me. Uh, John Elway's just terrible. He needs to get out of here. We need new ownership. We need new, uh, uh, we need new uh, player personnel. Uh, director of player personnel because John Elway's terrible. He meddles and he likes getting his way, but slowly but surely he's getting phased out and getting pissed off. I love it. Fuck you, John Elway. You ruined this team since five years of fucking pain, man. Piece of shit. I hate John Elway so much. George Payton's doing a great job. First, resigning our receivers. That's pretty damn good, man. Getting our receivers back. So we have we don't have to worry about our receivers for the next three to four years, um, and uh, um, what else I gotta say? Um, nothing. I don't know who else is a free agent really, because Cortland and Patrick were like our biggest free agents. Kenny Young, I would like to get him back, but he's probably gonna be cheaper because he's a linebacker. Um, I think that's really it. The rest free agents, I don't really care. Josie Jewell and Alexander Johnson, get the fuck out of here, man. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, Malvin Gordon's a free agent. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here, man. Let Javante. That's eight million off the table. You can use for for fucking guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Kenny Young. There you go. Um, I think. If Melvin Gordon leaves, we'll probably sign like a backup running back next to Javante. So that's worth less than Melvin Gordon. Um, but yeah, Gordon's son, welcome back to the squad for another four years. Can't wait to see you make more diving catches. Unfortunately, you couldn't make any of those because, you know, uh, the quarterback. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I hope he gets more targets against the uh, Chargers. And um, we need to win against the Chargers or else the season's over. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Thank you, George Payne, for the for the early Christmas presents of Tim Patrick and Cortland's son. Welcome back to the squad. You guys are a beast. You guys put in the work. Unfortunately, John Elway hates you guys. Thank God we resigned you. John Elway is a terrible man. He's a terrible executive. He needs to get out of here. Denver and just be retired, you know, go with your family, man, and peace.